Tonight, a newcomer with a ferocious band of female fireballers makes their primetime debut in the heat of a playoff hunt that could see this rookie squad debuted in the coveted top four. Against them, a stalwart veteran, leaps and bounds improved from seasons past, looking to loot some ever-important victories in their own quest to playoff glory. Chronic Lies and the Femme Fatales take on Rise and Fall and the Plum Island Pirates. Welcome to Triple-A Match of the Week.
Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another production of the Cross Platform Baseball League, another match of the week. My name is Dwayne. I'm one of the co-commissioners of this league, and I'll be here on the color commentary for you this evening and accompanying me in the booth for the first time ever. It is our our very own urban legend, uh, the legend of the voiceover, the man himself who does the, the voiceover you just heard moments ago that, that led us in here. Welcome to the booth, Urban. It's great to have you in here for the first time. Man, it's great to be here. Uh, loving the community. I uh, have since the first time I saw the Sakuras play. That's my number one team for sentimental reasons, but grown to love the entire league. And y'all give them to me. It's time for me to give back. I'm here as the voice of the XBL. Here to put it in the booth, and y'all are rolling with the legend. Buckle up, doors locked out from the outside. Yes, sir. Let's do it. It's going to be really, really exciting here as we have two of our AAA players facing off for a pair of games. Uh, it's going to be Rise and Fall on his Plum Island Pirates versus Chronic Lies on the Femme Fatale as a rookie versus a veteran. Uh, Rise and Fall, a player who played with us in the AA and now in the AAA. He's, he's taken his lumps as well along the way, but this season he's looking super duper improved. Uh, and he's looking here on primetime to pick up a couple of big wins against the rookie in, in Chronic Lies, who's just joined us this season, was teetering uh, with that XBL ego and also playing in the in the AAA category, fell into the AAA category, and is having a pretty solid season so far, uh, sitting in the top four, looking for also some big wins tonight. So uh, I think we're set for a, a lightning matchup uh, between these two. Um, and there's the few keys that I have for you tonight is really just going to really lean on prime time and, and, and keeping pace with each other and being really, really accurate on the hill. I mean, these players don't know each other well. Um, Urban himself doesn't know the league top to bottom, so we're all going to be seeing a lot of action uh, unfold tonight that is going to be i think really really exciting do you have anything uh leaning either way tonight before we roll into it herb contested in a contest between the old lion and the young lion it's going to be who blinks first who wants it the most and who can capitalize on that blink in order to come out on top championship uh the playoff berths are on the line so it's going to take an intense amount of concentration and in a contest between the up and comer and the seasoned veteran, you never can tell what's going to happen. Absolutely. You actually put that perfectly. And without further ado, we're going to let these players know that we're ready to see the action unfold. Uh, so we'll see you guys in just a few moments on the other side. And we'll let the players know we're ready to queue. See you in a moment. Right. Here we go. Base. gentlemen we're loading in now to the home field of the plum island pirates emerald diamond players exchanging pleasantries and we're getting ready to face off all right the beginning of the game everything is balanced all right pitching an easy strike and saying goodbye dominating early Next up, long bottom. Yeah, Don Johnson, the ace for the Plum Island Pirates. Got a ton of velocity. It's going to be interesting to see how Chronic Lies is able to uh, to deal with that. Looking like there's some patience at the plate to start things off for sure. Getting behind early. We'll see if he can't pull out of this tailspin. Oh, high, resounding, but not in the field of play. We reset. We'll see how this develops. Making it count. Full count. This one's going to be crucial. The pitch goes awry. 
Yeah, that's a big walk here. Prime time with a runner on base now for Chronic Lies. We'll see if she can or he can uh, make something happen here. He got bad jumps on the player, so I wouldn't expect to see them moving. Something's being off of Johnson's pitching. We'll see if he can't dial this in or if he's going to walk off of the uh, Really rolling for the Femme Fatales. See if they can't capitalize. Resounding fly. resounding fly, easily handled, two outs, and we reset. Yeah, first pitch swinging. We saw patience in the first couple of bats to work two walks, but then Chronic Lies going right after that pitch, flying out, and perhaps gifting uh, Rise and Fallen out there. Catcher might have been able to make a play, but they call foul. And for some reason, Johnson is really enjoying the outside of the strike zone. Yeah, I guess consider way down. Reconsiders giving Johnson a chance to uh, pull himself out of this tailspin. This is wow. Three walks. Is this a strategy? Yeah, I'm not sure. He's got the bases juiced and and. No damage done so far. I can't really give up a hit here, though. Needs to find his own still just slipping all over the place. This level of play I haven't seen in the XBL. This might be some kind of strategy. All right. And here we see tying. Tying the count. Foul ball. We'll see if this strategy develops. First place. First base, touch the bag, reset. All right. So, uh, Pirates did some exotic uh, uh, pitching this time around. Let's see if their batting is a little bit more what we're expecting. Yeah, getting out of a jam yeah, there now, in a creative way was rise. I mean, walking the bases full is never what you want to do early, but no runs given up. And the outside and strikeout. First batter. Not what you want to see, but still plenty of time left in the inning to get something going. All right. Shortstop handles the ball. Easy play. Textbook. Out number two. And here we go. Yes, Daddy Mac. He's got to be a heavy hitter for this Pirates team. Things that make you want to jump. Big swing. Not going to happen. Still plenty of time. Calming down. Fatal's working the inside of the plate. Oh, big swing. Max trying to get something done. Ooh, touch early. Not going to happen. Oh, way late. Compliments exchanged. <laughs> A little bit of chin music, and we set up for the Fatal's. Oh, we're playing traditional baseball, taking it to the warning track. Well played by the uh, by the left field. We're set up for out number two. Yeah, dangerous cutter right to start off the inning. Chronicles tried to jump on that. Oh, we've got an error. Tried to dive for the catch. Oh, and going for extra bases. Bold play by the base runner. And now we we've, we've got ourselves some baseball action. Uh, we got some speed up at second base. Oh, foul looper jumped. We reset. And good attempt from Rise there, and big strikeout swinging out of the zone. That's uncharacteristic. All right. We might have to call that the rope a dope. Give up the first inning and then razzle dazzle them on the second. The rope a dope seems to be uh uh. Got the fatales on the ropes. And third base, textbook play to first, third out, inning number two. Bottom of the second. Oh! In the gap. This one's going to be extras. Going for third, going for third. He plays it sensibly. Fatales hit the cutoff. Extra uh, <laughs> extended bases. That's huge for Rise and Fall to lead off the inning and to put the bat in the hands of Sweaty Betty. She's got all those traits 
uh, locked in there. Power and contact engaged against the right-hander. So we'll see if, if he can get this run across with his big bat. Ooh, sweaty Betty. Couldn't get the timing on the ball and is retired. Big John John up to plate, takes the first ball. Oh, slow grounder. Pitcher takes the plate. Oh, an error at first, and we've got runners on the corners. That is huge for Rise. It almost was a two out situation where he needed to hit here with Mike Jordan, but now he's always got to do is avoid a, a double play, and perhaps he can get that run across. There's nerves happening on both sides right now. Taking a look at the, uh, taking a look at the Pirates, they are not able to catch up on the ball. It's the entire team seems to be just a step behind. Yeah, a lot of velocity. Lights making everybody ner nervous. Oh, we got oh, lively action and gets back in time. Attempt to take an extra base. Thought about it, and boom. We got the hit. Third out played at first. No runs. So, top of the third, we are still scoreless. And Johnson's back up on the plate. See if we don't do if he doesn't do the rope a dope or if he's uh, gonna pitch the way we know he can. Ropado or nerves. Johnson seems to be back on his business. This one goes a touch wild. Tie count 2-2. Two, two. And hmm, caught him at first. Catcher bobbled the ball on a poor pitch by Johnson. Plays made it first. One out. Yeah, getting chronic last swing way out of the zone again, I think, for the second time we've seen in this game. That that changeup must have fooled him. And that's a big strikeout for Rise, uh, as we saw a little bit of the control issues coming back for him and Johnson, but he seems to be tightening up a fair bit. Hoblum knocks it into right field, right to the right fielder. Easy catch, and that'll be two. Oh, you love to see it. High, lovely fly ball, however, right to the center fielder, out three. Bringing it to the bottom. Pirates are up. That was a towering fly ball. Perhaps one of the highest I've ever seen here at uh, at Emerald Field. You got a good view of the Ferris wheel there. We'll see if Johnny Rocket can't get something going. Takes the first strike. Way outside. Oh, thought the second baseman had it, missed it just by a hair. I could save it first. Yeah, solid jumping attempt there by Chronic in, in second base, but those are tough to time. If you play this game, you know from experience they're they're not always straightforward, those little loopers going over the, the infielder. So it's a big hit for Rise. We'll see if he can build on that. Friendly exchange between the coaches, and we have our next batter up, Lil Mac. Taking a, a little bit more intelligently on the plate. And we've got motion on the bases. Boom. Double play. Strikeout. And caught him at second. And we're up on the fourth inning. Serious smackage. Right field. Textbook play. Blocking him off. Nice leadoff hit. This is a dangerous part of the order for the Fatals. Rise has to pitch carefully now with Johnson. A ground ball would be his best friend trying to roll two. His contact goes foul. Johnson, a little bit wild. Oh, caught him swinging. Dejected. The <laughs> batter's retired. That's a big strikeout. Now the double play would come even more handy. He gets a fly out here, though, it looks like, to left field. Johnny Rocket's going to make that play, keep the runner at first. So 
couple quick outs, both these players trying to break through, but as you said, the nerves, I think, are apparent. We've got Wiggs swinging big. Right field, everybody's prepared. We'll call that out number three. And proceed to the bottom of the inning. Daddy Max trying to make you jump. See if the wisdom at the plate. Oh, nice contact runs foul. He almost did make us jump there. Hit that one hard. Oh, my love. You, uh, you love to see it. Meaty hit. Made contact right to the third baseman. Great play. Great hit. Great play. One more time, keeping the third baseman busy. He is prepared. That's out number two. Yeah, Bertha over there making it happen. First with a jump and then securing that easy line out. All right, solid contact right in the infield. Pitcher gets in on the defense. And we're at the top of the fifth. Johnson hitting up uh, pitch number one right to the shortstop. First base, textbook play. And now the lineup's turning over for the Fatals. This is, I think, the third time through the order, so it should be interesting to see if Chronicle starts to pick up on something from Rise here. Great contact goes just foul. Johnson's getting control of it. Strike two. Oh, right up the gut. Solid grounder. It was a good piece of hitting on the curveball. Chronicle is able to just square it up, send it right up the chute. That's what you got to do if you want to try and build on something, especially as we're now in the middle inning, still scoreless. There goes the runner. Johnson with the fastball. Whoa, catcher does <laughs> catch it, gets it done. Out, second base. Clears the bases. Solid contact. Sky high moonshot. Easily played center field. It's out number three. Still scoreless. Bottom of the fifth. Big John John up to plate. Getting it done. Makes contact. However, Femme Fatales are ready. Center field, out number one. I want to be like Mike. Let's see if he can get on base here. He was seen sipping Gatorade before the game. However, he, oh, actually manages to make it happen out in no man's land. Second base tries to field it, comes up empty. And yeah, nice single there for Rise. He's got his stealer at first base too. We'll see if he engages here. As it looks like we're having a bit of a loading moment. So just give, give us a second here while the feed catches up. Let's see here. And I'm having a few technical difficulties this evening. Hopefully they cease at this point. This gentleman's feet not a touch can do. Not a touch to just touch your problems being handled. And we'll back to nice ball short. So, so contest between the old line and the young line. Looks like we lost it's the feed here for a moment. Let's we're gonna I'm gonna have to check in with the players right. here momentarily. Uh, to see if we lost them on the disconnect. Um, just give us a moment here. We're going to head back to the queue screen, and we'll give you guys an update here in just a moment.
All right, folks, we have a quick update for you. We're going to have the players bunt to resume in game one since it was scoreless. Uh, we're going to bunt to the sixth and they are going to uh, reset their home teams and, and make sure that's all straight. And we're going to continue game one and then we will follow up with game two. We were just debating on if we were going to uh, run the second game and then figure out the first. But this is the best option for everybody involved. We're going to just hang tight for about five minutes and let these two get squared away. And we'll have action for you in just a few moments once again. So thank you guys for hanging tight with us and we'll see you in a moment.
All right, folks, we are now back in action here at Emerald Diamond. We see Mike Jordan take his bunt. He's going to take his place at first base after uh, getting that one out single last inning or last game, excuse me, in this inning uh, before the disconnect. And now Don Johnson's going to go ahead and hit. We have returned. See if Rise uses that stealer. That's where what I had mentioned before uh, we jumped back into, or we we disconnected now that we've jumped back into things. He's got that speed at first. The towels are taking it straight down the pipe. Nothing but heat down the middle. Ah, oh, nice hit. Landing right in between infield, outfield. He's got two on now with one out. Runners. Runners are first and second. Great breaking ball. Contact first base. Runners advance out at first. Yeah, lineup turns over. He needs a hit. That fastball's been dangerous for him all night. And the Pirates' bats still not as solid as they could be. Hits it right to second base out at first. And we are scoreless through six. Johnson takes the plate. We'll see how things shake up after this rain delay. Is it going to be the rope a dope or is he going to be bringing the heat that we know that he can? First strike, second strike. It looks like Johnson is awake and ready to eat. Resounding high ball. Center field claims it. Textbook play. First out for the Fatals. Johnson playing around with the first strike, puts it in the zone for the second. Contact made. First base, fatals. Yeah, that lineup turns over, and there's a rip from Williamson, the leadoff hitter. That's just what you want to avoid if you're the Pirates, but it's going to be a good throw from Johnny Rocket. Almost in time. Ooh, making it close. Ends up at third. We'll see how serious the fatals are. Johnson with the rope -dope, playing around with the outside of the strike zone. Oh, he's going with the intentional wall. Yep, the Fatals made a move. Brought up a heavy hitter. Johnson having none of it. Easy pitch out. We'll bring up the next batter and see what he can do with it, says Johnson. Loading up the bases. Boom. Looking for the double play. Double play. Three outs. And we are scoreless. Old Lion and Young Lion contest. Nobody's blinking. We're into the sixth inning. And Rise has gotten out of multiple jams in this game. I think in the first, second, and now in the sixth there with runners in scoring position. Two bases loaded jams. He's just an escape artist tonight. Got to start scoring, though. He needs something to build on. Ooh, Fatal's pitcher playing a little rope -a dope of her own catches the Pirates looking out number one. Daddy Mac again trying to get that jump, can't get the jump on it. Contact second base, out at first. There's that heat again Fatal's from Pansy Banks. Fatals are playing the chess game at the mound. They are in the Pirates' heads. They're swinging at everything offered. The side is retired. Fatals are up. Johnson delivers it right where they like it. Contact made. Lovely hit right to the center fielder. Out number one. Chronic Lies just can't get underneath that. He's stung a couple of baseballs tonight really, really hard. But a lot of them just hard line drives where the fielders can do something with them. Another one there too. Sweaty Betty, sweaty Betty's able to handle. Playing with the outside of the strike zone pays off. Hit to third, delivered to first, just in time. Chalk up one more for the Pirates. In bottom half of the seventh, we're still scoreless. Both of these teams really eager to break three. You have to think. 
And they're getting reckless a little at the plate. Solid contact made, and the batters are coming up and putting down in rapid succession. They are blowing through. See who gets patient and dials it in in order to get this run. Contact made. Looks like it's headed to no man's land. Can they get it? Sliding catch out number two. That was a huge play for Chronic Lies there. We, I thought Big John John was going to get himself a little bloop, but nothing doing. Light contact made to second base, delivered to first, and we are retired. Top of the eighth. Johnson's pitch count is increasing, but he's still holding serve. A little wild. That rope adult making him dance in the in the batter's box. Getting way behind. Dows it in for a delivered strike. Oh, and now he's in their head. That rope adult is paying off. Picking him up, putting him down. Johnson takes another one. That's a huge strikeout for Rise and Fall. They're getting right or chronicalized looking. The velocity of Don Johnson, obviously, after the disconnect, still in a decent spot. So, Raj trying to utilize that, and, and the mistake pitches are, are getting by right now. Oh, making him dance. Johnson's a crazy man with that strike zone. See if it doesn't get into the batter's head. Throws him at the plate. Dejected. He sits down another one. Yeah, I think something has to be said for not really even knowing where the ball is going to go when you let go of it. The hitter's got to have some fear in their heart. Lovely moonshot delivered right to the left field. And we are in a marathon. The stare down continues. Who's going to blink first? High in the strike zone. Very sneaky pitch by the Fatals. That's a big swing and a miss. Don Johnson was on fire there. But uh, Rise unable to use his pitcher to get on base. Pals delivering nothing but heat. The inside strike up perfectly catches on the higher floor. Pansy Banks is on fire as well. And she She's not looking like she's getting tired anytime soon as we're now heading to the ninth. Now batting, the shortstop, number two. Big part of the order. That one's crushed to deep left center field. It's going to be off the wall is it, on the fly. Is it, is it? Way in the corner. Come on now. He's going. Oh, plays it sensibly. Sticks to second. Oh, a failed bun Whoa. attempt. Bold, bold play. Yeah, with the top of your order, Chronic Lies, you'd think would want to swing away with a hitter like that, but fails at the bunt and now a valuable out for rise and fall. Pitch count is high, but they are still delivering the heat contact made. First baseman is ready for the pop fly and count down another one. Johnson delivers it right where they like it on the plate, and they're going home solid hit to center field. Will they make it? Yes, we have one on the board. Fem Fatales finally strike 1 0. And that's just a classic piece of hitting. Uh -oh. Get that runner to second and, and get a hit. Good done deal, and the ball gets past the catcher, and now another runner's in scoring position. Rise and fall needs an out to give himself a chance in the ninth. Back to back, the rope a dope is not helping out Johnson and the Pirates this time around. Two free bases back to back. Okay, uh, this might be the blink moment that we were talking about. Rather than put up with the pressure, 
they put the runner on first base and reset in order to get an out and retire the side. Oh, big for rise taking there. Look at the pitch selection. Taking a look at the pitch selection, it looks like uh, Johnson is in the game. No more rope dope. He is focused and ready to deliver. Count solid, tied up two two. Oh, got him, got him, coach. Who pulls out one, <laughs> pulls his tail out from the fire. The Pirates take the bat. He's got to make it happen with two, three, and four in his order too. Lil Max swings at that second pitch. Looks like it's going to be an out though, and it's caught easily. Balls on the shoulders of Daddy Mac. He wants Ooh, to make us jump. Into complacency with that fastball. Lovely pitch by the Pirates and got him. Out. It's incredible pressure on the Pirates in order to make something happen in this game. Way high foul ball. Catcher makes a valiant attempt onto the dugout. Oh, another foul ball. This one well out of play. Oh, swinging on everything. Catcher misses it. Make the catch at first. And that's a done deal. Fatals take this one. 1-0. One Defensive clinic. The rope a dope strategy. <laughs> First time I've seen it employed in the X XBL. Uh, might take some tinkering, but it lulled the Fen Fatales into a sense of complacency that got some unearned outs. Yeah, I would say so. Rise pitched a very tight game throughout. Unfortunate there to, you know, not be unable to score on the offensive end, but shout out, like you said, to Chronicle Eyes. Tight defense, great pitching on there, and was able to make it happen. And, uh, and a few hard hit balls um, from Chronic Lives that were caught by Rise really kept him in it, uh, kept him out of the jam uh, a few different times. But it wasn't enough to get the victory here on primetime. Both these players, uh, Chronic making that primetime debut, it looked like they were uh, trying to tighten up those nerves a little bit, especially in the beginning. And, and it ended up being, you know, one run ball game because of it. Players are getting ready for game two, so we're going to have that coming right at you here in just a hair. As we're going to play at the home of the Femme Fatales, it's going to be Sakura Hills. As we load in now, without further ado, no wasting time after our, you know, rain delay in the first game. Uh, we're going to get right back to it. All right, so tell me this, Dwayne. Uh, how will the strategy change from Emerald Diamond to Sakura Hills. What can we what kind of baseball can we expect to see played here? Oh, well, at Sakura, you definitely have a lot more gap space, uh, a little bit more foul territory to work with as well. So both these players are going to want to try and keep it between the lines, maybe take advantage of that gap space. Uh, Chronic Lies definitely a bit more known on the power end, and this is their home stadium. So you could expect them to try and get around on some baseballs and get it out of the park. Uh, Rise of Fall is going to stick with that small ball and try and make something happen, but like we saw in game one, two, it should be a well-pitched game. Sakura will definitely play its part in comparison to Emerald. All right, we're starting off. We got a fair ball grounder right in front of the catcher. Delivered to first. We have our first out. A little bit of lineup restructure from the Pirates. Mike Jordan batting second now instead of seventh from the last game. Jordan, eager to get a swing on the bat, takes it wisely and lets it rest for the next one. Full count. Oh, just, just short. Mike Jordan is retired. We bring up Daddy Mac and see if we can't get things started. Oh, solid shot right up the gap. Good speed from Daddy Mac. Grounder, well played. This is Frangipani pitching for 
Uh, the Femme Fatales ran one of the standard players in this game, I believe for the B-Wolves. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. I know you guys probably know better than I do. Um, because I only play custom in the XBL 99.9% .9 of the time. Runner went. That's a big strikeout there to end the inning. Rise unable to make contact, and now he's going to pass it over to Samson Simpson, his pitcher. No velo. Allow all junk on this guy. Just way behind. Count is three, none. Another leadoff walk. We saw that in the first game. Yep, couldn't dial it in. Alan bounce way wild. Catcher scrambles, unable to deliver. Advance to first base, second base. Got some speed up there. We might see some action. Keep your eyes peeled. Another dangerous runner in scoring position for the Fatals. We did not see them capitalize as much as they could have in the last game, but it was their rise had his fair share of jams to get out of, and it looks like he's going to get an out here, uh, getting Chronic swinging out of the zone. Whoa, wild swing, wild swing. Tying up the count, 1-1. One, one. Caught the, caught the base runner, and that makes 4 2. Nice diving play by Swash Buckler. Compliments exchanged as the team switch sides. Pirates take the plate. Fatal's coming with the heat. Delivered. Piping hot. And the batter's retired. Big power from Big John John. Swings at that second pitch. Grounds it over to shortstop. Almost gets a gift there, but that throw able to be handled and scooped by the first baseman. Fits of a team that has been working together this long, when, even when it's not delivered perfectly, they're still able to get the job done. Pitch delivered, infield fly, first baseman handles it, operating like a baseball machine, you love to see it. Yeah, another scoreless inning, a scoreless first. We'll see how long this one uh, stays without a run, as we saw our first run and only run in last game scored in the ninth inning. Owl ball well handled by the catcher. Put one on the board, one out. That was a two seam that Chronic could have done something with, but unfortunately fouling it away. Rise just been having issues all night finding the strike zone. In our pregame, we were saying that it's the first person that uh, is able to capitalize on a weakness by the other as the batter gets a wow grounder to center field didn't make the solid catch and we got a runner on first but getting back to it uh it looks like whoever is able to get calm at the plate another strike grounder center field we have runners at first and second whoever's able to get calm at the plate and deliver like they should is going to be the one that takes us yeah, absolutely. It's about being patient and waiting for your pitches. We've seen both players get a little bit eager in, in a lot of different situations. We've seen both of them swing pretty wildly out of the zone, uh, just eager to get something across, and, and we sh it, we saw little to no results in the last game. So this game, you, you'd have to think that patience is going to be the big key. Playing the rope and hope walks another battle. We have bases loaded. Plenty of speed. We'll see if some advanced strategy happens. Solid hit. Infield fly, and we have out number two. Base is still loaded. 
Rise performing that wizardry again, but this one, uh-oh, that's not coming back. And it's going, it's going. Ladies and gentlemen, baseball time, Grand Slam. That was off the, Lord I don't know what that is, board. a lighting fixture. Destroyed. All right, we've had a definitive statement made on this game by by the Femme Fatales. Let's see if the Pirates can hold it together and make a statement of their own. Wild shot, center field, tries to dive, tries to dive and grab it, unable to do so. Better safe at first. All Rise needs is that one out. Gave up the two out grand slam. That's got to be killer. His starter's tense. Obviously having a tough time finding the zone. Solid shot right to second base. Finally got that out. Wow. Great inning for the uh, Femme Fatales. See if they can't hold the see if they can't hold hold the uh, pirates. As the batter takes the plate. Even count one one. Rise is going to try and work. In the conversation between the batter and the pitcher, pitcher takes this one. Japani is starting to get locked in. 28th pitch swung on and missed, so another strikeout. Looks like tempers are starting to fray on the pirate side. Pretty early in the game, they're starting to swing at just about everything. Big swing delivered on the third baseline. Diving catch, unable to come down with it. Safe at first. Chance for some razzle-dazzle. They take advantage. Fly ball delivered to the catcher. Yeah, nothing doing for the Pirates there. Rise was able to get that runner on. We've seen him move the runner, try to attempt the hit and run a few times tonight, but making solid contact has been a big part of the issue. Simpson's getting his catching un... Simpson's getting his pitcher under control. Not enough for that one. They make the Pirates... Excuse me. They, fatals make contact and deliver to right to right field. Solid shot. Center field seems to be the place where the uh, Femme Fatales come to play. Speeding fly ball. Runner safe at first. Yeah, we have seen a lot of base hits go right up the middle for Chronic Lies. The timing is there. What a dive! Oh my. Nice dive by second. Fatales able to circle back and still stay safe at first. Two outs. Wild pitching a rope a dope. Pitcher is behind. Two, two balls, no strikes. Oh, we got another solid hit. This one's to the track. Batter safe at second. They circle the bases and count it one more for the Fatals. Yeah, Fatals five making runs. A definitive statement. Getting dangerous now for Rise. He has to think about tightening up with his pitcher or maybe even dipping into the bullpen. Here comes pitch number 50 from Simpson and it misses. Simpson way behind in the count, delivers one just where she likes it. High fly ball, left field, textbook, out number three. This is the guy right, who can get something started. Bit. Yeah, Daddy Mac has been silent this so so far this game. Let's see if we can't get see if we can't get something going. Solid hit, contact made right to the shortstop, deliver first base out. Ooh. Man is thirsty for a ball delivered high in the strike zone. That looked to be close. Foul ball. Still eager to make contact. High fly ball. Second baseman takes it in. 
Yeah, Ryze unable to make the solid contact. He got it on the foul ball, but he was about, you know, a year early on it. He just needs to find a way to time things up uh, when he gets his pitch to hit. Sweaty Betty might have found one there, lifted to right, but there's out number three. Easy catch by the right fielder. It is the pitcher for Anjapani at the plate, so she's locked in. Rai's going to want to avoid giving her a hit to make it any worse. All right, pitching's getting sharp. Oh, solid contact, driven foul. Contact made, grounder. Short stop, delivered to first base, got our first out of the year. That was ball number four, too, end to the pitcher, so Chronic Lies perhaps was, is going to want that one back. Not great uh, selection on the swing there to get the dribbler with the pitcher when you could have had a free bag. Wild pitching continues. Somehow that sequence gets Chronic Lies off step, and there's a big strikeout as that lineup turns over. It's a stinger on the misplaced cutter, but now we're out of the inning. Chronic Lies has been, you know, making it work with it with the inaccurate pitching so far. Besides the grand slam, of course. It's always that one thing. <laughs> Contact made. High fly ball, right field, well handled. Once again, the Pirates are very, very eager in the batter's box. Looking to make something happen in order to turn around that five-run deficit. Contact made. First baseman takes it. Pitcher in position. Done deal. Considering taking Sampson out, they decide against it. Simpson takes the first two. He's down 2-0. He's trying to right the ship. Without the speed to make the run, Simpson is retired, and we are at the bottom of the fifth. This is a dangerous portion of the Femme Fatale's order for Simpson to work through. So Rise is going to have to be crafty if he doesn't want to see this lead widen anymore. She's still on the rope dope side, and Toblom is way overdue to make something happen. Simpson behind, was able to make a swing, capitalized, high fly ball right to the center fielder. There's a ton of power on this cleanup hitter for the Fatales. This is not who you would want to make a mistake to. The rise needs to find the zone. Angle showing a lot of patience at the plate. Uncharacteristic for both of these teams so far. She is way ahead. Count is 3-1. Solid shot right to the first, uh, right to the second baseman. Delivered right on time. Two outs diving. Diving catch made by the second baseman. Unable to bring it in. Solid shot. Once again, center field is the place to be for the Femme Fatales. They got and it done. With, on first and second. They got it done with two outs last time. That was when the big dagger came in the form of that grand slam. Let's see if Rise can avoid allowing Bertha on base or perhaps, you know, even an extra base hit here that would widen the lead. Samson continues to let karma be his guide rather than fast, <laughs> tight-slung sniper bullets. 
Fortunately, that one's delivered foul, and we continue. Full count. Solid contact made, right to right field. We got advanced, ladies and gentlemen. Base is loaded. Danger, danger. The starter's got to come out. You have to think. <laughs> yes, common sense prevails. We're not doing this again. A switch has been made at the pitcher. We'll see if this can't get the Pirates out of their bind. Delivered high in the strike zone. High fly ball. Second base claims it. And that's a wrap for the inning. That's another bases loaded jam that Rise is able to get out of. Obviously, the big grand slam tonight in game two, the one that he didn't, but... I think we have to mention the three or four times tonight he has been able to work out of those jams. He's been expert at trying to avoid danger. Oh, wow. Fast reaction by the pitcher. Line drive right into the glove. Excellent reflexes. Excellent play. Unfazed. The baseball continues. Pitcher gets way ahead. Count 2-0. We have a foul ball. Ladies love the long ball, but this one is goes foul. Yeah, perhaps one of the better contacts Rise has made tonight. Unfortunate that it went foul there and then followed up with the strikeout. Swing and a miss. Pirates are consistently going with the job provide method of management inside the box swinging at everything pitcher touches the ball is able to field it and get it to first in in time contact leadoff batter made oh and we've got an error oh my yeah it's never never fun when you're already down trying to find a way to crawl back in a game and uh your pitcher just drops the ball metaphorically and physically there at first base. The cries of help me help you from the entire team as the ball <laughs> goes wild. Catcher fields it. And the pitcher's behind. Two balls, one strike. Oh, we got a long one. Can it be? Ladies and gentlemen, put him on the ball. Home run. Femme Fatal. 450 feet. Chronic Lies crushed that one, and now this lead is looking dangerous. It's seven nothing. Rise, three out or three runs away from the big M word. He needs to find that accuracy. The Marlboro Man getting knocked around. I fly ball. This one looks fieldable, and the Pirates have their first down. Mm. He's been inactive, pretty much inactive this game. Gets a foul ball, looking to get involved in the stampede that the Femme Fatales are leading on the Pirates. Yeah, and you'd have to say with a 370 average and 12 home runs uh, through 20 games on the season, this is the player you would think that wants to get on that uh, in on that action. Oh, solid. Got lots of air but not enough distance just before the warning track field by the center fielder. Oh, watch your feet. Pirates on the job provide. Another pitch far outside. Current count, two balls, no strike. Center field is the place to be. Ladies and gentlemen, do we have another one? Put them on the ball. Oh, home run. Fem Fatales. 472 feet that time. That one was absolutely teed up by Chronic Lies. And uh, the... the uh, <laughs> uh oh. Fem Fatal's getting their golf swing ready. Put one into right field. This one is fielded by the right fielder. The side is retired. All right, it's time for some action by the Pirates. All right. Consistent patience pays off. Daddy Mac finally gets on base. 
considers going to second, well played by the Femme Fatales, runner at first. Yeah, it's valuable to get a leadoff runner on, even if the deficit is so large, you have to start somewhere. Oh, get back there, get back there. Fielded by the shortstop. Daddy Mac gets back in time. One out. All right, some of that eagerness has come off the Pirates. Current batter, Sweaty Betty, is looking very, very patient at the plate, looking for something that's just right for her. I'm liking the way things are going for Sweaty Betty. Oh! Things just don't go the way you want. Welcome to baseball. Sweaty Betty's retired. Two outs. Yeah, spoke too soon for old Betty there. Oh, couldn't get him at second. Got him at first. The side is retired. And things are looking grim for the Pirates. That was a big play there to end the inning. Uh, and just keep a lid on the Pirates by Chronic Lies. You know, when you're... Two runs away from the big old mercy word. Uh-oh, as that one gets oh! past Jordan. This is looking bad. Okay, we got another one. Are we going for three? Yes, going for extras. Lots of extras. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a base buffet for the batter. Triple. Now a three for three. Bertha Banks is up. This is the, the hitter that could get it done. All right, you got it. Compliments paid. From, from the teams. New pitcher, new look. Trying to close it out and get something going for the for the Pirates. Ooh, solid swing, a little bit late. Contact made. What? Oh, left field. And just enough time for the runner to get in we are close to, to shutting this down early ladies and gentlemen and yeah, nine nothing now with one out so any base hits going to prove dangerous and you know one swing could do it downs's delivery has the batter oh had the batter looking but not enough to control to capitalize we got a runner on first with a little bit of speed let's see if she can't make something happen oh boom diving catch by the shortstop out at first out at second uh whoa safe at first here's where the big danger lies that pitcher getting on means the lineup turns over and here's the leadoff hitter who's got two home runs tonight Swings at that 1-0 pitch, it's lifted to the left, and this should end the inning for Rise, though. We're in the top of the eighth now. It's 9-0 still for the Fatals. Every swing has got to count. Let's see if... Oh, wow! Excellent diving catch. I thought there was no chance that the shortstop could make that diving, diving catch in no man's land. And the window is swiftly closing for the Pirates. Solid shot. Right to the pitcher, got a glove on it. Couldn't get to the couldn't get to the first base in time. That was one rise could have jumped on there, fouls it away. Gonna want it back. Uh, we've got early motion on the base running. Hit contact made. Out at first. Out at second. Double play. And we'll see if the Femme Fatales can close this out. High fly ball. Left field. Easily fielded. First out of the inning, or first out of the side, correction. At center field, center field, they have, it's like happy and way for the Femme Fatales. That's just the road that they are going to win this game with. 
Yeah, it's all about that timing, you know, getting the bat through the zone quickly. And when you're squaring it up nicely, a lot of those balls are going to find their way naturally through the middle like that. And that's how you know you're hitting good. Contact made foul ball. Runner at first decides to make a move. Pirates say, no, you don't. And we got contact on this hit right in no man's land. Runners at first and second. Wow, pitcher starts to look a little bit tired, delivers one right in the center, fielded by center fielder. Two outs now, so Rise could keep himself alive for one more chance in the ninth. Oh no, we got a good one. Is it gone, is it gone? No, off the top. Runners rounding the bases. Is the runner going to go for it? And, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get out of here early. Yeah, mercy victory for Chronicleize here on prime time to go, come away with the sweep. But I think that is um, pretty – and it doesn't really tell the whole story that between these two teams tonight. It was close for a really, really long time, um, especially in game one. But things broke open here in game two for Chronic. around uh, being able to watch some baseball is always a good spectrum it's always good especially when folks are playing at this high uh compliments to the triple a players um yeah battle the old line and the young line towels choke they're forced to be reckoned with yeah for sure i mean in this triple a season now they're they're in the top four uh, pretty much trying to solidify a place there, and that top four means you get a double buy. So tonight, those two uh, wins go in a, a big way into getting there. Rise and fall, picking up some good victories along the way here recently. Um, unable to get it done tonight, but played a really close game against a top player. I think there's uh, something big that he can take away from that going forward uh, with the final few games of the season and going into the playoff tournament. So, baseball action is done for this time around, but again, compliments to uh, all players involved. Um, now that we've gotten to the end of this one, thank you for everybody and thank you for everybody involved. Um, actually, wait, permission to get personal for a moment. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Hey, compliments to you and all the members of the XBO. Um, thank you for the opportunity to come into the booth. Um, I've been looking for uh, a way to express my love for the game that I played as a child and uh, watching the scores provided that they were my introduction to the league. Um, I thank you for the opportunity to introduce myself to the league, to the league as the voice of the, XB, voice of the XBO. And now to have a chance to step in the booth, man, eternally grateful. Thank you for the opportunity. Dude, thank you and for thank being you everybody, here. Everybody. <laughs> Thank you for letting me be here. Absolutely. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to have, you know, man, if your talents, uh, you know, the, the Urban Legend voiceover here in the booth with me tonight, I, and we hope to have you again uh, as well. Every bit of participation from you, from the community itself, from our players, from everybody, as we say at the end of many of these casts, it's, it's all very much appreciated. It goes above and beyond what you even can imagine. That, that really is what drives us all to put this together um, and to put these on. It was a really fun cast here tonight. Uh, fun introduction to be with you here in the booth, uh, like you just said, Urban. And uh, before we go tonight, do you have any other parting words for us? Uh, um, I'm going to wrap this up here shortly. Uh, for the players in the league, um, this is the regular season. The regular season is coming to the end. Uh, playoff time is here. The rest of the coaches, the rest of the players are watching. Be on your best game. Be on your best game because the playoffs are coming. Competition is about to get capital S stiff. Nobody's playing around. This is the league that is the most competitive XBL players on the planet. Bring your A game. Yes, sir. Well said, Urban. Uh, everybody get ready. Get those games in. We are coming down the stretch, and we're going to be back later this week. Uh, next week, since it's Saturday, normally we do this on Sundays, but we've been having a few Saturday night specials, so keep your eyes out for that if you're not already a part of our Discord. Um, we're going to have more matches of the week next weekend and our weekly roundup later in the week. 
And uh, with that said, thank you all for joining us here tonight. It's been a great one, and we will see you next time. Have a safe and happy evening, y'all. Legendary, y'all.